In this video, we will discuss a payslip and we will also look at an example of one. Okay, let's get going. So, what's important to note is the theory. Firstly, gross income versus net income. So, these two terms are super important. And I will illustrate this to you with an example. Let's say you have your first job, you start working, and your boss promises you that you will receive a salary of 10,000 Rand. He is actually lying to you because there are still a few things that need to be deducted from that amount. So let's look at some examples of deductions. Tax is always a big one. And on your payslip, it will appear as payee. Okay, now payee simply means pay as you earn. So every month you pay some tax. Okay, an example of this, let's just say this guy pays 800 Rand tax. And then something like pension. Pension is also a deduction. Maybe his employer is paying his pension. Let's say for this example purpose, uh, this is 100 Rand. And finally, UIF. UIF stands for Unemployment insurance fund and what this means is if you are unemployed the government will give you some money temporarily okay now you pay one percent of this and then your employer pays another one percent of this so in total two percent of your money goes to the unemployment insurance fund Okay, now if we determine 1% of this 10,000 Rand salary, it is 100 Rand, okay, because on your salary you only pay 1%. Now we add these deductions, we get to 1,000 Rand. So, okay, you left with this 10,000 Rand that you were promised minus the 1,000 Rand, and that gives you. 9,000 Rand paid into your account. So, gross income, to summarize, is your income before anything is deducted. This is a very big number. So, this is before deductions. And then, net income would be your income after deductions. And note that this is also often referred to as take home pay. Okay, this is just the other name for it, take home pay. All right, now, all right, let's look at this example of a payslip. So first you would see the business name, and then we have J. Morrell. Now this guy is the employee, that's his name. And next you would see the employee number. So this is a unique number. To say that to identify him in his company and it's also for tax purposes right so each employee has that has a unique number okay next you'll note that he gets paid on the 20th and this was in 2005 in the eighth month okay just remember that pay slips are printed and given to you monthly okay by your employer now if we move on we see that he worked 145 hours and his hourly tariff was 70 rand, right? So his rate was 70 rand, 25 cents per hour. Now, if I want to find the total, so how much money would that be in total? I would have to say the hours times the hourly tariff. And you can remember that. That's kind of a little formula. All right, so my hours is 145 times the hourly tariff 70.25 and the answer you get is 10,186 rand and 25 cents. I am also going to write that in here 10186.25. Okay next is the overtime hours this guy worked eight hours 
and we do not know how much he was paid per hour for overtime, but we do know that in the end he was paid a total of eleven thousand sorry one thousand rand for his overtime. So if I want to determine uh, this B, I would have to reverse, right? So from the previous example, we now reverse and thus we divide. Okay, so I say divide by eight, and that gives you hundred and forty rand and fifty cents. All right, I'm going to write that in here, one four zero and fifty cents. And I want you to take note of something. The hourly tariff for the normal rate is 70 rand, 25 cent. For overtime, it's 140 rand and 50 cents. So this is exactly double, okay? And sometimes for overtime, you will see that you get paid double the rate or simply 1.5 times, one and a half times your usual rate, okay? Moving on to the gross, which is kind of the total that he got, or that, yeah, this month. How did I determine this 11,000? Okay, I said the yellow number, the normal hours, the A, plus the overtime hours. And let me write that down. So I said 10,186.25 plus 1,124. And that gave me... 11,000. Okay, next is your payee, which is also just your tax, and you don't really have to worry about that right now, but his company paid 1,020 rand to tax. Next is your UIF, or Unemployment Insurance Fund contribution, and we need to calculate how much that is. So remember, UIF is 1% of your salary. In this case, your gross, right? 1% of your total. Remember that 1% is 1 over 100, of becomes times, and the gross amount is 11,310.25. Alright, if I calculate that, you will see that you get an answer of 113 rands and 10 cents. Let me write it down in here. Okay, and finally, my net or take home pay, a D. I need to calculate that. Now remember we said the net pay is basically your gross minus all the deductions. Deductions in this case is the payee, the UIF, and the pension. I'm going to say here, just substitute the values, 11310.25 for the gross, payee 1020, 113.10 for the UIF and 300 for the pension. I'm left with a net amount of 9,877.15. And that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Watch some of my other videos related to this.